let us discuss one more new chapter that is the rate measure. It is also one of the important uh, chapters in calculus. It is very important for the all the board examinations. Sometimes the very short answer, short answer type questions, very short answer type questions may appear in board examination. Generally the four marks short answer questions will appear from this chapter. So generally the all the questions based on the velocity acceleration of a particle and sometimes uh, how does the area of the circle, how does the volume of a cylinder or solid figures will increase. So that may be asked in this chapter. So while actually discussing the problem itself only, so we, sh we shall recall the concepts of the problem. So first let me read the question, the first question here. A particle moving along a straight line has the relation S is equal to T cube plus 2T plus 3. Connecting the distance S described the, by the particle in time T. Find the velocity and acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 4 seconds. The problem may be very lengthy but very simple concept. The relationship between distance and time is given by s is equal to t cube plus 2t plus 3 this equation. So now we need to find out the velocity of the particle at the instant t is equal to 4 seconds. The acceleration of the particle at the instant t is equal to 4 seconds. That is all. That is the problem in this one. Here relation. Next we need to find out velocity and acceleration at t is equal to 4 seconds. These three are the keywords in this problem. With the help of these three keywords this problem can be solved. So now let us solve it. given s is equal to t cube plus 2t plus 3. So this is the displacement, s stands for distance or displacement. So what is the velocity? Velocity is the, the rate of change of displacement. So what is the acceleration? The rate of change of velocity. So that means if you just differentiate it with respect to time t, you get ds by dt, that is nothing but velocity. So again if you differentiate it v with respect to t, you get acceleration, that is all. So that means now differentiate both sides with respect to t, t is the variable here. Now ds by dt. So notation d by dt of t cube plus 2t plus 3. So this equals to differentiation of t cube 3t square t differentiation with respect to d 1 2 plus 0. So 3t square plus 2 this is the velocity. So, v is equal to 3t square plus 2. Okay. Now, again differentiate it. Differentiate with respect to t. So, now the derivative of v with respect to time is dv by dt. That is rate of change of velocity. So, this equal to d by dt of 3t square plus 2. So, 3 into derivative of t square is 2t, 2 derivative is constant that is 0. So, we have 60. dv by dt is nothing but a. So, a is equal to 60. Now, at instant t is equal to 4, we need to find out velocity and acceleration that is all. So therefore, v is equal to ds by dt at t is equal to 4 seconds. So that means here in the place of t replace 4, 3 into 4 square 
plus 2 3 into 16 plus 2 48 plus 2 you can check the simplification this is equal to 50 so this is 50 units per second these are the units so now we need to find what acceleration acceleration is equal to a equals to dv by dt at instant t is equal to 4 seconds so this is 4 seconds okay now here 6 into 4 24 units per second square so in this way we can find out the velocity and acceleration so you might have followed the, this method so let us solve one more problem a particle is moving in a straight line so that after t seconds its distance s in centimeters from a fixed point on the line is given by s is equal to f of t is equal to 8t plus t cube function of t the first one find the velocity at a time t is equal to 2 seconds second the initial velocity we need to find out third acceleration at t is equal to 2 seconds so that means in this problem also just concentrate on the keywords the relationship between the distance transversed or described by the particle within the stipulated time is given by this relation this is one important point from this problem and first one the velocity you need to find out initial velocity and acceleration so how do you find out initial velocity so that means the velocity of the particle at the instant t is equal to 0 that is nothing but the initial velocity so rest of the thing very easily we can find out the values so first let us solve the problem now given so you need to consider this yes. even you can consider f of t also no problem s is equal to 8t plus t q say equation 1 differentiate both sides with respect to with respect to t so ds by dt d by dt of 8t plus t q t differentiation is 1 t cube differentiation is 3t squared so we can write 8 times 1 plus 3t squared so this is 8 plus 3t squared so this is the v equals to 8 plus 3t squared this is the velocity okay now let us differentiate this one now consider v equals to 8 plus 3t square differentiate both sides with respect to t now dv by dt is equal to d by dt of 8 plus 3t square so derivative of constant is 0 plus 3 into derivative of t square is 2t this is 0 plus 60 equal to 60 the rate of change of velocity is acceleration so a is equal to 60 
so let us first find out velocity at the instant t is equal to 2 seconds first problem v is equal to ds by dt at t is equal to 2 seconds that means velocity is 8 plus 3t square 8 plus 3 times 2 square 8 plus 3 into 4 so this is 8 plus 12 is 20 but actually units we will write but our units are given here centimeters in seconds 20 centimeter per second so this is the velocity initial velocity second initial velocity don't get any confusion initial velocity is also u r v no problem d s by d t at instant t is equal to 0 so 8 plus 3 t square 8 plus 3 into 0 square 8 plus 0 8 this is equal to 8 centimeter per second now we need to find out the x relation so third one a is equal to dv by dt at t is equal to 2 what is dv by dt yes 60 6 into 2 12 centimeter per second square so in this way we can solve the problem